Hi everybody. On March the 1st, we've got a full moon in Virgo at 11 degrees and 22 minutes, two power numbers, 11 and 22. So it's a strong full moon. And unusually, we've got three moon events in Virgo this year. It's the first of three. So we've got this full moon, March 1st. April 29th, we've got another full moon in Virgo. And on September the 9th, we've got a new moon in Virgo. So it would be very helpful to find where the axis of Virgo and Pisces lies in your chart. You'll have it somewhere. All of us have got each of the signs in our charts, just some more prominently than others. So Virgo has everything to do with criticism, perfection, dissemination, sorting out what is really important and letting go of the rest. And it also has to do with our communications. And what's really interesting at the time of this full moon is that there is no air, no planets are in air signs. It's predominantly earth and water. So I would say that this is a wonderful opportunity to move intuitively, to move from the internal gut voice, if you like, rather than this voice that needs to say things, yeah? Oh, but you didn't listen to this, and did you hear that, and that person didn't listen to me? You know, and all that sort of complaining mind. I think this full moon may well shine a light on where you might be groaning and grumbling, or other people are grumbling and moaning and groaning, instead of really appreciating what you have and not allowing that mental noise to clutter up your clarity of how you really want to behave in your relationships and how you really want to see people. So it's this balance between criticism, constructive criticism, and goodness knows I've received a lot of that lately from many of you, and I'm so grateful for it because I have to say that Aside from one or two who tell me, oh, you should stick to the astrology and don't do the channeling, Barbara. Except for that, there's some sometimes are not so nice. For the most part, you've been really constructive, especially with my live streams. Telling me when I may be spending too long greeting everybody in different countries personally. And maybe not quite focused enough. So, you know, criticism kindly where it can be used for improvement and greater ease, yes. So that's going to be one of the challenges, I think, of this moon energy. At the time of this full moon, the Sun and Neptune are conjunct in Pisces, deeply encouraging you to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Maybe somebody just doesn't mean to be driving slowly. Maybe they're not feeling very well. Maybe somebody's even having a heart attack or something like that. So before you go to hoot them and get impatient, maybe just Sun and Neptune here, just let it fall away. How important is this going to be an hour from now? Try and get it into a wider more compassionate perspective. And the ruler of, of um, Virgo, Mercury, is conjunct to Venus in Pisces, sensitive again, which is trying to Jupiter in Scorpio. So this is a wonderful time for sensitive communications, a wonderful time for healing through our words, through our actions through our vibrations. This is a deep opportunity for profound healing to take place. And you know what it's like when somebody really is kind to you in the way that they express? Isn't that soothing? When somebody listens to what you have to say, so it's really about tuning in, listening, 
and accepting instead of being ready with what you want to say next. Just receiving. This is very much learning how to use the mind constructively, but also knowing when to be a receiver rather than a transmitter. So that's going to be one of the interesting challenges at the time of this full moon. And it's going to be iterated again April 29th. And again, we'll get an opportunity for some fresh beginnings on September the 9th. So this is just how can you find your gentleness? Everybody wants to be treated gently. And how can you find that within to be gentle to yourself and also gentle to others? And here is your painting for this full moon in Virgo. It's really the way I see this is that the green is more the Virgo energy and the blue is more the Piscean permeating everything. So there's a mix there. So thank you to many of you who do, in fact, purchase my paintings and also order them specially created for you. And thank you very, very much for listening. Bye for now.